It's going to be in righteousness. And the thing about righteousness is this. It's all about judgment. Okay, so once you receive your judgment, guess what? We're just going to be dealing with you in righteousness. Okay? You're going to have your own allo allotments in your own land or whatever, wherever, your own, you know, things that you deem uh, 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 of, of value to yourselves. But ultimately, your governors, your rulers, is going to be us. Okay? But see, when Esau is in rulership, everything, absolutely everything, unquantifiably, is Esau's. Okay, and if you don't, and if, and if he doesn't, if he doesn't believe so, okay, all right. If 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 he if he's unsatisfied with that, then he will show you that it is it belongs to you by going and doing airstrikes upon your country, man. Okay. So it says there within the book of Proverbs, the 28th chapter, on the second verse, it says, "When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice; but when the wicked bear it, rule, the people mourn." So when the wicked rule, wicked rule, 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 bear rule right now, man. The wicked bear rule right now. And what you got to do? You got people complaining about how much they get paid. People complaining how much time they're working. People complaining about how much diseases are running rampant. Okay? They're complaining about the, the, the economy. They're complaining about the geopolitical situations that these countries put them in. Man. All right, how you doing, man? You okay? Huh? Okay, cool, man. Cool. All right. So the, all of these people, are they complaining about complaining about all of them different situations that you got out there? Why? Because the, the wicked are in rulership. But see, when the righteous are in rulership, you ain't going to be taxed all kind of crazy numbers like you get taxed within this society. All right? Well, all the taxes will still be still be high. All right? But you ain't going to be a straight-up rip-off. Right? You're still going to get your own. Okay? Your kids are going to be on because when you get kids within this society, they belong to the authorities, man. They belong to the government. That's why, you know, you, you beat your kids or whatever. The authorities can seize your, 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 uh, uh, um, uh, uh, your, your children, man. Okay? When you try to, to implement order within your own household, well, guess what? The authorities can come and say, look, <laughs> you ain't about to do that because that's really our, pro our property, man. But that's why the scripture says he ruleth these nations with a continuing stroke, man. He has a, he has a, a, a way of going about business that is just against the scriptures, man. That's why we know him as the wicked. <laughs> All right? So this is back within the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter. It says, yea, at the 8th verse, it says, yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee. And they said the woods uh, said the woods are leveling them, saying, Since thou art laid down, no fellows come up against us. So even the whole earth is gonna be at rest. Just talking about the vegetation and all of that is gonna be at rest. Alright? Um, the ninth verse. Hell from beneath thee is moved to, to meet thee at thy coming. Right? It stirreth up the dead for thee. Even all the chief ones of the earth has raised uh, uh, have raised up, right? Uh, from their throne all the kings of the nations. So all of them heathen nations, they're gonna rise up against Esau. Right? Okay, it says uh, the 10th verse, it says, All they that speak and say unto thee, Are thou become as weak as we? Are thou become as like unto us? And little nations he got out there, Iran, uh, Syria, all of them, the most is going to put it within their spirit to basically come up against this message. Are you as weak as we are, man? All right? Because that, that ICBM nuclear missile, man, that balances the scales, man. Okay, you might have a, mil a, a million man standing army, but if you got that ICBM, man, Okay, that ain't gonna do nothing. That, that million man army ain't gonna do nothing against that. That that that. Uh, 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 sorry, rather more that, that. Yeah, that million man army ain't gonna do nothing against that ICBM, man. Okay, so it says here or drone strikes or something like that. Because the Esau likes them drone strikes because he's never really been. He he he's he's a punk, man. Okay. Um, his blessing is a sword, man. Okay. So it says here, uh, thy pump is brought oh, down to the grave. You represent, I'm representing your house, sorry, mate. Okay, he says, Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, right? And thy noise of thy vows and the worm is spread underneath thee, and, he shall, and they shall cover thee. He says, how, and this is the point I was getting at. How that, how that brought down to the grave, brother more, how that falling from heaven, or Lucifer, so Lucifer just being, meaning, meaning to say the light bearer. And if you go into uh, uh, the understanding of the fact that this man's got all the knowledge that, the, that his predecessors, the, 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 the nations that came up before him, he's got all of that knowledge, and more so, Okay, then you get into the understanding why the Lord and uh, the scriptures call him Lucifer, man, the light bearer, because he bears all the light, for, all, all, the, all the knowledge, he's got all of that, man. Okay, he, he, uh, he gives it out to whoever he, he deems he, is, 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 he, he wants to give it out to, man. Okay, that's why we call these different schools the, 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 uh, the you know, the public fool system, because really, that's not the, not, Esau knows that, 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 that what he's teaching you in them different schools is, is a, a nonsense, man. It's of no value. Okay? Esau knows that because he actually has the, the, the document showing him who the, who the, just fundamentally, who the Israelites are, who the Moabites are, who the Ammonites are. Esau's got all of those documents showing you that. 
Okay? That's why when you had it to where Alexander, one of his generals, when they went down to Ptolemy within Egypt, they set up the, the library of Alexandria, and they had all, all of them different people out there bringing forth their knowledge and their resources and saying, okay, this happened then, and this happened then, or, or you do this and you do that, and then you get this, okay? They have books on uh, uh, mathematics, sciences, and so on and so forth. So when you go into these you know, different school systems and so on and so forth, they don't take you into them different depths of knowledge and understanding and all of that. That's too high for the common person, man. All right? And when you get into those different depths of understanding, hey, the Vatican's got all kinds of documents within it. But they ain't going to let the average person in there, man. Why? Because that's, that's, that, 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 that's, that's too close to the truth, man. Too close to the fact that they are the devil and we are the righteous. Okay? We go up into the realms, those echelons of, 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 of understanding. But that's why the scripture go, goes back onto the point I was making. That's why the scripture says, how are that brought down to the ground or loose for the light bearer? Because they bear all the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. All right. Uh, within, uh, you say the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Because the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures is a spiritual thing. <laughs> so they got all the carnal knowledge. All right, all of these, all of the knowledge of these different nations done put together, but see, the knowledge of the scriptures trumps all of that, man. The understanding of the Bible trumps all of the knowledge that Esau has acquired over the years. Okay, it trumps all of that. See, so that's why the scripture also says that uh, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before such as afflicted them. All right, and them different nations are gonna be like, wait, hold on a minute here, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, we've put in all of this work to make sure that these Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans don't wake up to the fact that they're Israelites. Okay, because we bear the light, so we can shine the light wherever we choose to shine the light, and we're gonna shine it upon these Negroes and under, uh, for, to, uh, uh, upon these Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, so they understand who they are. In fact, we're gonna give them, uh, 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 we're gonna give them contrawise to that. Okay, that's why they're always pushing everything contrary to the scriptures within 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 the Black, Hispanic, and Native American communities, man. Why? Right? Because they actually know the truth. See, that's why they say a, a good lie, all right, is a lie that has the most truth about it, all right, but it's still a lie, man. Okay, it's still a lie, and that's what they push within these communities, man. Hey, what's up, man? Where you from? Manchester. Where you from? No, what country from? Manchester. Manchester. What country from? You from here? Your age is like, man. You right there? Yeah. Yeah. What country you from? France. You from France? Yeah. Or where you? What you believe in God? You believe in the scriptures? Yeah. Or yeah. Or you might be an Israelite, man. Do you know about the Israelites of the Bible? Yeah. No. Did you believe in God? Do you read the Bible? Yeah. Oh, so you don't know about the Israelites of the Bible? I don't know. Maybe I don't understand what he meant. All right. Okay. Well, within the Bible, within the Bible, within the scriptures, okay, yeah. it talks about a group of people, right? Yeah. Well, it talks about many groups of people, but there's one principal group of people that the Bible speaks about, that being the Israelites. Okay, so you know, you know, you know about Abraham? Yeah. You know about Isaac? You know about Jacob? Yeah. Okay. Who was Jacob's brother? Esau. Esau was, Esau was Jacob's brother. Okay. Jacob is the father of the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right. Now, history's shown those people that they were all over the earth. They were scattered forth across the whole earth. Okay. You have, so you've got Israelites out there within, not Israelis, because those are not the real Jews. You know about the Jews? Yeah. Those are the, the people that are in Israel right now? That's not the real people. That's not the people of the Lord. Okay, those are devils. So you can understand. How, how do I know they're devils? Because they go around stealing, okay, robbing and murdering people. That's how we know they're the devils. So the question stands, well, if they're not the, the real Jews, then who is the real Jews? Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, history shows us that the real Jews were going to go into slavery by way of, uh, of ships. And I think there is like a different type. Like there is Jewish people and there is Well, like, if I say your, your jacket's, if I say, if I say your jacket's blackish, what does that mean? No, but I don't know how to explain this in English. Right, there right. Is like <laughs> well, the, in the, the, well, well, take this. The Jews that you got out there within Israel, they're not the real people. Yeah, that's what I mean. But oh, right. Jewish people like in France or... There is Jewish people. Like, I don't know. Well, if you're if you're talking about the the real Jews being scattered, well, that's true, okay? Because yeah. the real Jews did get scattered. But if you're talking about the Israelis that you got out there in the land yeah, of Israel right now, they're not the real Israelites. Yeah. 
They're not the real Israelites. History has proven that they, they they were converted into they converted into Judaism and it took upon them the mantle of being the Israelites, but they're not the Israelites. That's what I was saying. That you do you you could if you believe you believe in God? Okay, so so you could be Israelites. Okay? But I'm gonna ask you, who do you think God is gonna come and save? No, no, who do you think, the, well, if you're an Israelite, you're going to be, you know, if you're the elect of the Israel, of Israel, you're going to be saved. But who do you think God is going to come back and save? Who? Who? Between, between who? Of, of the people yeah. of the earth. The one that trusts in him, I don't know. Right, okay, so can anyone be saved? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, can, 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 can uh, 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 the Israelis be saved? <laughs> no, they can't be saved because they're not they're not of the the lineage of the people of the Lord. Does that make sense? They're they're of the wicked, just like uh, 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 the Moabites. You know who the Moabites are? What? The, the, the the Moabites. Do you know who the Moabites are? He's he's a Moabite. Moab, you got eighteen nations within the scriptures. You got 18 nations within the scriptures, okay? You got, you got the Israelites, which is predominantly Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. You got the East, we got you got the Edomites, which is the so-called white people, okay? And you got uh, 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 Ishmaelites, which is the Arab nations. Uh, uh, um, sorry? It's going over your head. You gotta get into this. You gotta go. You gotta, you gotta read the Bible. You know. You know. You believe it. You gotta read it. You know. You gotta get into it. You gotta get into it. I, I just think like sections. Yeah, sections. Oh, the the flowery sections, you know? No, not no? the flowery sections. I just open it like this, and I open. Uh, well, you, hey, the scriptures talk about how you were supposed to go to someone who is learnt within the scriptures, and they was gonna teach you about the scriptures. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you go into a parable like like Acts the tenth chapter, okay? You know about Acts the tenth chapter, Cornelius, and, 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 and you. I don't think she's real. Oh. Yeah, she's not Christian, but like, I don't get the names in French, that's why. Right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. But like I said, you're an Israelite anyway, so you ain't going to worry about it anyway. You'll be all right, but I think, I think you might be an Israelite. I think because the way you move, you, you move like an Israelite woman. You're like, you're, it's, it's deep. <laughs> it's all about lineage and characteristics, yeah. okay? So the, so the Israelites, the Negroes, the Spanish, Native Americans behave a certain way. Okay, so they're scattered across the whole earth is going to behave a certain way. So it becomes very easy to identify who's who. A, 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 a wolf can, can dress up like a sheep or it likes, but it's still going to move like a sheep, like a wolf. Does that make sense? <laughs> Alright, okay, don't worry about it. Like I said, you might be an Israelite anyway, but you know, you girls have a nice day anyway. <laughs> but get back onto the job, you know? <laughs> All right, so it's back within the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, and um, the 12th verse, it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, all that cut down to the ground, that didst weaken the nations? So this man went out there, weakened all of them different nations that you got out there, okay? All right, took all of their resources, he beat them with a continuing stroke, okay? All right, he did all of that, but the most size, you know, He's setting them up for the ultimate okie The The is gonna bring his strength down to the ground, man. The Mosai is gonna remove all of that, that that military pride that they got. Okay, they, they, he's gonna move. He, he's gonna make it to where uh, uh, his, 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 his path to uh, 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 that new world order is gonna be all kind of difficult, man. Okay, so the Mosai is making it difficult for this man, but ultimately that's to raise up the Negroes, Spanish, Native Americans. Okay, all right, because the scriptures does talk about how uh, um, you know this thing popping off. With, you know, with these different countries go to war and all of that, that's going to be happening simultaneously with the Mosai uh, 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 waking up his people, raising up the, you know, raising up the, the, the Negroes, Spikes, Native Americans into the understanding of their Israelites, man. Okay, so now I had a, um, uh, now that point's made, I'm going to go into the, um, uh, the precepts that I have prepared from, uh, from earlier, man. Okay, so I'm going to start off within the book of, Bear with me. Okay, so this is going to be in the book of 2 Timothy. Alright. Uh, starting from the third verse. On down. So this is 
book of second timothy three and one okay it says know this also that in the last days perilous times shall come men shall be lovers of themselves okay covetous roast is proud right disobedient to parents and unthankful so uh, uh we know that we're in the last days because those different events are happening right now man okay you got jake coming up they're talking madness against the scriptures man okay because it's like the book of second peter's third chapter says okay it talks about how uh, uh, uh you know dudes are gonna be willingly ignorant man saying where is the promise of his coming where is this that and the third why are you you know you know why 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 are you believing in the scriptures? Well, the scriptures talk about how uh, 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 faith, okay, how that faith is going to be the uh, stability of, the, uh, 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 you know, really knowledge, wisdom, understanding is going to be the stability of, of, of that times and how the just is going to live by faith, man. Okay, so we have faith within these scriptures that the most High is coming to bring a heavy judgment upon this place. Okay, we got dudes out there that are going to be coming up against that, that, that factor. You got dudes out there that are gonna be coming up against the the the, uh, uh, the principles that the Messiah has set forth and saying that they ain't the right things to be doing. For instance, coming out here when it's cold and pushing this work. You got dudes out there that actually think that that that, that you ain't supposed to be doing that, man. When the scripture goes says go uh, uh, preach this word, be instant in season and out of season, man. So you could be fervent for this thing in season and out of season. Whether it's cold, it's warm, or it's kind of mild right now. But see, you got guys out there that they, even, they believe that you shouldn't even be going out when it's mild like that. You gotta go out there when it's perfect conditions, man. So wait, hold on a minute. Where if the Mosai has to wear a whole bunch of the elect go out there and it's kind of cold? So does that mean to say that them people ain't gonna be taught? Well, damn right they're gonna be taught, but guess what? They ain't gonna be taught by them different camps that you got out there. Okay, them spiritual bum camps. Okay, the faithless camp, the faithless camp, man. Okay, because the ones that are faithful, they're gonna be out there on the streets. They're gonna be teaching this word. Okay, because they're gonna be instant in season, out of season, and for the most part, you're gonna have it to where they elect. They can come anytime, man. Okay, you got brothers that can be coming there anytime, you know, to the camp and so on and so forth. And the main medium for pushing this truth was always gonna be out there within the streets, just like how it was in the past times, is how it was gonna be in this future. That's why the scripture says, The spirit of the prophets, which meaning to say, being diligent. Hey, Jeremiah didn't give them, them Babylonians no rest, man. Okay, Jeremiah didn't give the people that were uh, uh, there. Uh, prophesying falsely of which I'm gonna get the book of Jeremiah the 28th chapter he didn't give them people no rest man he was constantly saying yeah hey, you're going off the Lord's gonna judge he's gonna bring the Babylonians the punk he's gonna he's gonna destroy this this people man Jeremiah that was the spirit that he was so if it was the, the, the spirit of the prophet coming back as the same prophet well guess what hey if Jeremiah was on, is on who is on the earth right now he's gonna be one of them brothers being fervent man Getting the, the modern day Babylonians saying, look, your, your kingdom's gonna be destroyed. Ain't getting all upon them. Jake saying, look, you Negroes, Spanish, Native Americans, you need to get right with the Most High. Let's the Most High destroy you whilst he's destroying this place, man. Okay? That's the spirit that Jeremiah was in. So therefore, if Jeremiah was coming back, that's how he's gonna be right now, man. Okay? But you got some 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 bozos out there. Okay, some guys that really they they, they deserve a, a missile. They deserve to be they, they deserve to die with their masters. You got guys out there that are, they don't want to do that, man. Okay, because they ultimately goes all goes back onto election. Most I said many are cold, so you've been called into this thing. You understand that you're Israelite, but you ain't really about this thing, man. Okay, you ain't really about being uh, uh, uh you ain't really about meeting the targeted amount of work that this that this truth requires. Because the scriptures do say much is given, but uh, hey, much is required at the same time, man. Okay, hey, much is given, but much is required, man. Okay, so this is the book of Jeremiah, the twenty-eighth chapter, starting from the top. All right, Jeremiah twenty-eight and one um, goes into it, and it says, uh, and it came to pass that in the year. In the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, the king of Judah, the fourth year, in the fourth month, all right, the Hananiah, the son of uh, uh, Zer, the prophet, which uh, which was of Gibeon, right, spake unto me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of all the priests and the people, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, right, the Mosai, saying, I've broken the staff of the yoke of the king of Babylonians, which was a false prophecy. And you got guys out there, they bring out the same false prophecy, saying, look, you can, you can make it within this society. You can be all right, man. Okay, just you know, you gotta go to college, and learn, and, and get this job, and so on and so forth, man. All right, and you'll be all right within this society. That's why you got dudes talking about how they're on a different, they're, they're on a, they, they, their mind is somewhere else, man. Or your mind is supposed to be within these scriptures, not somewhere else, man. People are supposed to know exactly what's gonna be going on within the within the near future. How that this man's gonna bring about the chip. How this man was gonna uh, was gonna come down heavy upon Jake because the Jeremiah, because Jeremiah the thirtieth chapter does talk about how. We're gonna get into a time of Jacob's trouble, but you got guys out there, they ain't gonna be speaking about that, man. 
Why? Because they ain't diligent within this work, man. They ain't diligent within these scriptures. Okay? They're about themselves, man. That's what the scripture says within the book of Timothy. Men shall be lovers of themselves, man. Okay? Boasters. Okay? Oh, I'm, I'm this, that, and the third. And, you know, giving themselves all kind of pretty titles, but they ain't got the works to prove and to go with those pretty titles, man. Okay? So it goes on to say here within the book of uh, 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 um, uh, Jeremiah, the twenty-eighth chapter. Okay, all right. Within the two, within two full years, I'll bring again. Uh, I'll bring again into this place all the vessels that the Lord uh, of the Lord's house, that Nebuchadnezzar the king took away from this place and carried them away into Babylon. So when Nebuchadnezzar came, came against Israel, he took down all of the all the stuff that was within the temple, and you had this false prophet talking about look, this, that, and the third. The Lord's gonna do this, that, and the third. And you got it. But that was a false prophecy, man. And that's that goes to exemplify the same thing that these dudes. Because guess what? Hey, the, the spirit of the prophets, that's going to come up upon the prophets, man. And the spirit of scoffersiers, they're going to scoff, man. They're going to scoffersi and the prophets going to prophesy, man. Okay? All right, you got dudes that list, they were going to listen to the word of the Most High. They're going to listen to the word of the Most High in this age. And you got dudes that came up against the word, they're going to do exactly the same thing. You're just going to put it into modern day terms, okay? You're just going to put it into the modern day terms So the king of Babylon right now. They're going to be telling you that Esau is going to, uh, is going to allow you to, to, to build within the society. That's what a dude is going to say within this modern day age. He's going to say, look, don't worry about it. Okay. The Lord ain't going to, the, you know, the curses are done away with. You could be all right within this society. But guess what? You ain't going to be all right within this society, man. The only people that are going to be all right within this society is the men of the Lord. that are going to have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding so they don't bug out. Of all of the wicked, all, all of the the, the, the the devastation, but that's gonna come by way of the economic collapse. That's gonna come by way of uh, of, of, of 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 the terror that Esau's gonna bring upon this place because he has knows he has a short time, okay, right? All of that, the men of the Lord's gonna be staying, you know, steady, you know, mentally set within their foundations, and they're gonna not gonna rock to and fro, man. Those are the only people that are gonna be alright. But you're talking about monetary wise. You're going to be living day to day, man. That's why the scripture says, pray now, therefore, for your daily bread, man. 